WTIC Radio is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, 
an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test. Cox Communications is conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. In the event of an actual emergency, further instructions would follow. This is a test of the emergency alerting system. This is only a test. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test is now concluded. The National Weather Service in Grand Rapids has issued a special marine warning for near shore and open waters from St. Joseph to Holland, Michigan until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 11.16 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a strong thunderstorm was located 26 nautical miles west of St. Joseph Light, moving east at 25 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater and small hail. Source, radar. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include St. Joseph Light, South Haven Light, and St. Joseph. Frequent lightning is occurring with this storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects.
civil authority has issued a required weekly test for the following counties or areas Hennepin County, Minnesota, beginning at 11.17 a.m. and ending at 11.32 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is needed. This is only a test. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for the following counties or areas Fillmore County, Minnesota, beginning at 12.06 p.m. and ending at 12.26 p.m. This is a required weekly test. This is only a test for Fillmore County, Minnesota. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for the following counties or areas Clark County, Nevada, Esmeralda County, Nevada, Lincoln County, Nevada, New County, Nevada, and White Pine County, Nevada, beginning at 12.20 p.m. and ending at 01.20 p.m. required weekly test. National Weather Service in Northern Indiana has issued a special marine warning for Lake Michigan, Michigan City, Indiana to St. Joseph, Michigan, five nautical miles offshore to midline of Lake Michigan City, Indiana to New Buffalo, Michigan, New Buffalo, Michigan to St. Joseph, Michigan until 1.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 1.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a strong thunderstorm was located near Michigan City, moving east at 25 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater and small hail. Source, radar. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher wind and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include, New Buffalo and Michigan City. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. The alert system. Had this been an actual emergency or a dangerous situation, official messages and directions would have followed the alert tones. This test is brought to you by the Florida Division of Emergency Management, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and your local broadcast station or cable provider. This concludes the required monthly test. Hampshire State Police has activated the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System in order to conduct a practice demo. This concludes this test of the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System. Weekly test for Serban MN, beginning at 3.30 p.m. and ending at 3.45 p.m. This is a test from Serban Kosher. Severe thunderstorm warning announcement from the National Weather Service in Great Falls. For the following counties, in Montana, Hill, Liberty, and Tool. The National Weather Service in Great Falls has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Liberty County in North Central Montana, East Central Tool County in North Central Montana, Northwestern Hill County in North Central Montana, until 3.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. 
At 2.24 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 32 miles east of Sunburst to 20 miles north of Lothair, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Joplin, Inverness, and Whitlash. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of the building. Rip current risk remains in effect through Saturday evening. Coastal flood advisory remains in effect from 8 p.m. this evening to 2 a.m. Saturday. Coastal flood warning in effect from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday. What? For the high rip current risk, dangerous rip currents. For the coastal flood advisory, up to one half foot of inundation above ground level expected in vulnerable areas near the waterfront and shoreline. For the coastal flood warning, one to two feet of inundation above ground level expected in vulnerable areas near the waterfront and shoreline. Where? Southern Queens and Southern Nassau counties. When? For the high rip current risk, through Saturday evening. For the coastal flood advisory, from 8 p.m. this evening to 2 a.m. Saturday. For the coastal flood warning, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday. Coastal flood impacts, greatest impacts will be during the high tide cycle. Widespread flooding of vulnerable areas near the waterfront and shoreline, including roads, parking lots, parks, lawns, and homes and businesses with basements near the waterfront. Numerous road closures are likely, and vehicles parked in vulnerable areas near the waterfront will likely become flooded. Flooding will also extend inland from the waterfront along tidal rivers and bays. Rip current impacts, life-threatening rip currents are likely for all people entering the surf zone, Anyone visiting the beaches should stay out of the surf. Rip currents can sweep even the best swimmers away from shore into deeper water. Additional details, additional rounds of minor coastal flooding around the times high tide can be expected into at least Sunday. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. If you enter the surf zone, always have a flotation device with you and swim near a lifeguard. If caught in a rip current, relax and float, and do not swim again. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Ford County in southwestern Kansas, Kiowa County in south-central Kansas, northern Comanche County in south-central Kansas, southwestern Edwards County in south-central Kansas, northeastern Clark County in southwestern Kansas, until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.14 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 9 miles southeast of Buckland, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Greensburg around 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Kansas, Clark and Ford. The National Weather Service in Phoenix has issued a flash flood warning for Riverside County in Southern California until 5.15 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 2.15 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 0.5 and 1 inch of rain has fallen. 
Additional rainfall amounts up to 0.5 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of washes, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Joshua Tree National Park Pinto Basin Road, Porcupine Wash, Washington Wash, Fried Liver Wash, Smoke Tree Wash Turnaround, Don't Drown When Encountering Flooded Roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Flooding is occurring or is imminent. It is important to know where you are relative to streams, rivers, or creeks which can become killers in heavy rains. Campers and hikers should avoid streams or creeks. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 5.15 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time for the following county, Riverside, California. Service in Dodge City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Ford County in southwestern Kansas, southeastern Hodgman County in southwestern Kansas, southwestern Palm Edwards County in south central Kansas until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4:21 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Windhorst, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near, overly around 4.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Kinsley around 4.35 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of the severe thunderstorm include Garfield. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Kansas, Ford and Hodgman. Severe thunderstorm warning for northern Kiowa County, southeastern Pawnee County, Stafford County, northern Pratt County, Edwards County, until 5.45 p.m. At 4.53 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Centerview, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. You can expect 60 mile per hour wind gusts. The warning was based on radar indications. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe
see a thunderstorm will be near. Belper around 5.05 p.m. Maxville around 5.10 p.m. Other locations in the path of this severe thunderstorm include Seward.
Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for McPherson County, Eastern Rice County, Eastern Ellsworth County, Saline County, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.23 p.m., severe thunderstorms extended from 8 miles west of Brookville to 6 miles south of Wyndham, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. You can expect 60 mile per hour wind gusts and nickel size hail. The warning was based on radar indications. The following impacts are expected, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Salina, McPherson, Lindsborg, Moundridge, Inman, Galva, Marquette, Little River, Assaria, Brookville, Smolin, Wyndham, Phelan, Glendale, Salina Airport, McPherson Airport, Bridgeport, Canopolis Lake, and Canopolis State Park. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Reno County, northwestern Kingman County, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.26 p.m., severe thunderstorms extended from 6 miles northeast of Cunningham to 9 miles southwest of Kingman, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. You can expect 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. The warning was based on radar indications. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Kingman, Pretty Prairie, Arlington, Partridge, Abbeville, Waterloo, Willowdale, Langdon, Cleveland, Penalosa, Cheney Lake, Mount Vernon, Kingman Airport, and Cheney State Park. The following... a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central McPherson County, Eastern Reno County, Northwestern Sedgwick County, Western Harvey County, until 7.45 p.m. At 6.43 p.m., severe thunderstorms extended from 6 miles west of Buller to 6 miles west of Heaven to 7 miles south of Kingman, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. You can expect 60 mile per hour wind gusts and nickel-size hail. 
The warning was based on radar indications. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Hutchinson, Valley Center, Mays, South Hutchinson, Halstead, Moundridge, Sedgwick, College, Buller, Haven, Burton, Mount Hope, Andale, Bentley, Yoder, Willowbrook, Cheney Lake, Hutchinson Airport, and Cheney State Park. The civil authorities have issued a local area emergency for Fauquire VA, beginning at 9.31 p.m. Friday, September 20th and ending at 5.31 a.m. Saturday, September 21st. The Fauquire County Sheriff's Office is working an incident at the Markham Exit 18 on Leeds Manor Road. We are looking for a white male possibly 26-year-old 5'9", 150 pounds possibly wearing a baseball hat, white shirt and black pants. The subject may have sustained injuries from a traffic crash. If you see anything suspicious please call 911 and avoid the area. Avoid the area, call 911 if anything suspicious is seen.
National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for Straits of Florida from Ocean Reef to Craig Key out 60 nautical miles until 12.30 a.m. At 11.53 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located 13 nautical miles southeast of Spiegel Grove, moving west at 5 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. The strong thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Prepare for wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, steep and fast building seas, frequent lightning, and blinding downpours. Stay low or go below, and make sure all on board are wearing life jackets. Positive, encouraging K-Love. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This has been a test of the emergency alert system designed to keep you informed in the event of a national, state, or local emergency. Positive, encouraging K-Love.